Okay guys, update on my Cozy 4 project. It's been a little while since I've updated you, so here goes. Uh, the fuselage is upside down. I did have the wings on it, and uh, I laid up my cowling lips on the wings. The cowl has been fitted. Um, I've also worked on this little piece here. So the, I did it just a little bit different than the plans. The plans have you uh, fiberglass it in place. I just did it separate. I just all, all I did was add some. Um, all I did was put some release tape down. Uh, I laid up the um, scoop inlet, <clears throat> and that way I could pop it off, and I could easily work on it um, without it being on the plane. So anyway, I've got it built like I want. I also added these little, this is not per plans, this little piece right here. The plans have it come over like this. Uh, I was looking at Wayne Hicks's website and he said there's some people that's done a flow analysis and said that you get like quite significant better cooling whenever you have these little uh, angled pieces here. So I went ahead and just built those into the, to the inlet. So, so all I have to do now is just glass that on there. So, so yeah, I've got the uh, top cowling flange on, the bottom cowling flange. Now I still have to do some reinforcements on the underside here. I've got some foam here that are for the strike fairing that I'll be working on. Also, I've started working on the winglets as far as cutting them to fit the wing. And so I kind of had some questions about this little cutout, but I think through talking to the Cozy Group, basically what I've decided to do, whether it's right or wrong, I don't know, is I'm putting the template like this on the front, making sure that this bottom edge is flush with the bottom of the uh, winglet and then make my mark up here. And so, and then I just basically just roll the template, making my mark as I go, if that makes sense. And so, it turned out like that. So, and so I was thinking how I'm gonna cut this, and what I've done is I've set up my bandsaw so that the winglet is level and the bandsaw blade is basically flush with the side of the winglet right here, winglet root, and I'm just going to cut that out using the bandsaw. It should be nice, precise, and square. Uh, so anyway, that's just the way I'm going to do it. So again, whether it's right or not, I don't know, but I, I think I'm going to be pretty close with that after talking to the cozy group. So moving right along. Let's see, I don't think I have anything else to show you. This is my uh, straight cutout, and I've, my um, transponder antenna goes in there. You can see I've built that in a little pie shape ground plane. So moving right along, I don't know if this is optimistic or not, but I'm hoping that this summer I will be able to paint. And so that's what I'm trying to trying to get done. And uh... so this is what it looks like after I've cut it out. What I did to keep from cutting my cable, my coaxial is I just uh, slot it out a little bit above that and then just pull the coaxial bat like this. The way my bandsaw would miss that. So, pretty decent cut. Everything looks pretty good there. So, shouldn't be an issue. It looks right anyway. So that's how I did my cutout, guys. So I was anxious to see if that cutout actually is close. 
and so I brought them out here and I've got them on the wings and actually I don't think you could hardly get any better than that so that cut out actually did work and I have not touched these other than what you just saw on the um, bandsaw so anyway that cut out does fit my contour very well on my wings so that looks like that's probably a pretty good way of doing that okay and so this is the next day and I now have the winglets attached to the wing and uh, I took the advice of my buddy Neil as well as somebody else on uh, the internet forum who suggested to go ahead and do this top layup first after you do the attachment with the flocks. And so I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I went ahead and did that. Got it in there, got it uh, pill plied. So next thing is to flip these things upside down and then I'll do the uh, inside layups. But uh, they look really good. Oh, and uh, I was want to thank Neil Johnson for coming out and helping me uh, get all this uh, set up. So appreciate you, Neil. Thanks, man. This is December 2020. I've been building on this project for the past um, 20 months. About, I've been working on this about 20 months. And um, so making some good progress. Thanks, guys. Stay. Uh, hey, if you subscribe up here, um, you'll get my latest updates. That is, if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, keep you guys updated. Thanks.